Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to have a quick look through Mythographic Illusion by Diego Weisberg. This was a Christmas present from my younger brother Christopher, who actually came home this year, well last year now. Um, he gave me this and a book to read. So I've got a few of these Mythographics and I haven't coloured in a single one yet. So that's one of the things I've got to do this year is colour in one of these books. It might not be this one though. Because look how tiny and detailed that is. I mean, come on, I can't, I can't, I can't even see it. They are so detailed. That's quite nice, though. They are so detailed. Uh, these are perforated, so you can take them out and frame them if you so wish. Once you've coloured them, obviously, if, well, if you want to. Can we just zoom in a little bit so we can see a bit more? I, quite, I like that one because you've got the illusion of a face but it's two fish, the fish is uh, jumping out and it, but it's not a face, it's a rock and, and, and it's just very clever. Yeah, they are very, very clever these and I mean, some details in them. Um, I would have to look to see what people have done in this before I even think of tackling it, I think. I mean, look at the detail in it. But they are beautiful artworks. See, now this, that's not too bad. I quite like that one. I could do that one. It'll take me about three years, but I could do that one. There you go. Oh, it's a disc world type thing. Mmm, I do you think these are really, really well done. That's a nice one, I like that one. So how stunning that is, but look at the detail, look how tiny it is, some of the the bits. But you can do it, you, it's it's doable with, a, a, with, a, a, with pencils, I would imagine, rather than pen. Although these are single-sided, but I think it's too in-depth to use marker in, to be honest. That's so weird. You can see the illusion there is really weird. It's clever. So, yeah, I like that one. It's different. Again, a door to another world. I like that. I like that idea. That one's nice. With the honeycomb and the bees. I'm not going to offer to colour in this one on camera because I'd be too scared to colour in this one on camera because, yeah, I'm not that good. That's good. Clever. Very clever. Oh, wow. That's bizarre, but really good bizarre. Oh, I love that one. I love that one. Oh. This, look, I'm getting like the trees making up the face of the animal. So, so clever. And there's optical illusions that you look at and do you see this or do you see this? <laughs> if you see this, you're completely balmy. If you see this, you're just a little bit by me. <laughs> Stunning. That's a nice one. Hmm. So there are a few that I would quite happily tackle in here, and there are a few where I'd be a bit, hmm, maybe later. We can do one of the easier ones first. I like, oh, that is beautiful. I really like that one. 
I think it just goes to show that there's more to the world than you first see, that first, than first meets the eye, you know what I mean? small some of the bits are in there it ain't happening mate I don't know. <laughs> but there you go that is um mythographic illusion absolutely stunning but uh whether or not i'll actually ever manage to color in it i don't know i will i will try i will try anyway that's it from this video uh, for today hopefully i will see you very soon i'll hopefully do another video quite soon i hope and take care everybody and happy coloring i'll see you soon